I am Megan Lindsay, and we are sitting in Frank Shuary, New York style hot dog shop on Oliver Avenue. So who works here? Right now it's myself and Megan. Uh, we do everything from marketing to accounting, all the stuff behind the desk and all the stuff behind the counter. It's just us. Why the name Frank Shuary? We started with the name Hot Dogma. Um, obviously religious plan words from the back of a gothic cathedral we sell hot dogs and we operated under that for about two years unbeknownst to us there's a place in miami florida called the dogma grill we got a letter in the mail and uh, tim called me and said you're not going to believe this but a restaurant in miami is telling us that we need to stop operating under this name they have a federal trademark on the word dogma we don't have the money to fight in federal court we settled out of court we changed our name as part of that settlement we're now officially Frank Shuary as of March 21st. I believe legally we have to be Frank Shuary. No more references to hot dog. But this is sort of fast food, right? It's quick food. Fast food to me connotes so much grease. This, this is less greasy. We use Boar's Head All Beef Franks. They're a little larger than what you typically buy in a grocery store. A little longer, kind of right in the middle range as far as size. They've got a great natural casing so you get that snap when you bite in. What's your best seller? I think our best seller is either the New Yorker or the Texan. The New Yorker is kind of our signature because our dog is from Brooklyn. That one is the real deal and we knew we wanted to call it the New Yorker because it's exactly like what you'd get if you were at a good shop in New York. What hot dogs are these in front of us? Right here we have the El Greco. It's got uh, artichoke hearts that are already marinated and feta cheese. Mm -hmm. This is maybe the most popular of our more exotic ones. Okay. This is the Chicago Imposter. It's not a true Chicago dog. And this is the Mexico. We recently switched from store-bought salsa to a mango pineapple salsa that I make myself in the back. And it's, it's got cheese and guacamole. Now, if I'm eating, say, uh, all beef hot dog on a Friday during Lent, will lightning hit me in here since I'm inside a church? No, that hasn't happened to me, and I do it, so. But <laughs> we do have that veggie dog. We're actually serving a veggie dog with tartar sauce during Lent. <laughs> We've been noticing these tables. Tim's mom is an artist, and when we started rolling ideas around in our heads, she, on her own, just started painting, and she used some um, famous paintings and then added little hot dog twists. So this is St. <laughs> Francis, and he's got a hot dog in one hand and a, a beverage cup in the other. And No, I think that's original. <laughs> What kind of people come in here? We get largely a business crowd because we are downtown. The Oliver building next door houses Kirkpatrick and Lockhart, and then on the other side there's PNC Bank. So we get a lot of that crowd. Then we get a decent number of students from Point Park, the Art Institute, and the Culinary Institute. We started ordering uh, chili dogs for my entire kitchen half an hour before class would end, and then we would all come down here in a herd and fetch them and go to our next class. What'd you order today? The Chicago Imposter. I had uh, bratwurst. Oh, which, which is split in two and comes on two buns. Me and my boyfriend were supposed to meet here for lunch, oh. but he was caught up at work, so I thought I'd just come down because I like hot dogs. Is he in huge trouble? <laughs> Tell us about the hot dogs here. Oh my goodness, they're wonderful. I always get the same one. I have absolutely no variety in my life, but there's a lot to choose from. Does your boyfriend leave you often? <laughs> no. Get the, uh, the combo meal, this comes with it. And so I didn't eat mine, stuck it in my briefcase, pulled it out when I got home, and uh, my son Ben decided he wanted it. So I said, sure, go ahead. Nice. So that sort of then made the, the habit of any time I come here, I always save that for him. Now you're a culinary student with high honors, mm -hmm. right? How would you rate this hot dog? I mean, you're a professional, almost. <laughs> I'm almost a professional. This is definitely a 10 out of 10. Crunchy on the outside and salty, and the bread is always fresh. Everything melts nicely. Everything tastes like it was homemade. Now, why do you keep coming back to this place? Well, one, I like the staff. They're really friendly. The food's good. Um, and compared to what else I could get for lunch downtown, the price is right. How long have you been going out? <laughs> almost three years. Is, it, is this an ongoing thing, or is this... Isolated? <laughs> Isolated. Good. Are you on the Wall of Wieners? No, I am not. That is the Wall of Wieners. We started it when we first opened. Those are people who have uh, been instrumental in the startup process for us, whether it's just support from family or friends who have volunteered for a day or customers that have 
you know, come in so many times that we know them by name, and without them, we wouldn't be here. Are you on the uh, wall of Wainers then? I am. Are you? I am. Nice. Now, what did you do to get on there? We wielded our offset spatulas like swords, and that was deemed cool enough to get on the wall. <laughs> Nick, you're all set. Do hot dogs taste better in a church? You know, I think they do. There's something fun about that. People love comfort food in Pittsburgh. People love sausages. Kielbasa is already huge, and people eat hot dogs um, in the city, so I think it's a great fit. So having a hot dog here is one small step towards salvation. <laughs> Could be looked that way, absolutely.